Hey there, I have a question for you. Have you ever set a goal for yourself and you know, you're excited about it, you're fired up, you're like, yes, I'm gonna achieve this, and then something happened and you gave up? Okay, just nod your head. It's happened to me, okay? I've, I've set goals before and I've absolutely scrapped them. And I can, you know, I can even think of not that long ago, I entered an, a half Ironman and I was like all fired up and I was gonna do this half Ironman. And then, you know, as many of you know, I've had MS for 16 years and I was having a leg thing and I'm like, I can't do this half Ironman. Well, sometimes we set goals like that and it's not that big a deal. But other times we set goals that really do have a profound impact potentially on the people in our lives, maybe our kids, our partner. And then when we quit that goal, it doesn't just affect us. It was no big deal to Chris if I didn't do the half Ironman or the kids. But when we give up on that other goal, those goals that are very, very important, it affects other people in our lives. So let's have a dialogue today in this training, a little bit of mindset work on what happens when we give up on a goal. I want you to think about some goals that you've set for yourself right now. And maybe you have started a business, I know many of you have, and you've set a goal to create a degree of freedom in your life. And anytime we set a goal, we are always going to be challenged. And there's a, an old church going saying, without a test, there can be no testimony. And so what often happens is that we set this goal and it can make a difference in our life, a difference in our family's life. And then suddenly we receive a test. Now, the initial test could just be someone who's very critical. And the thing with criticism is that I find fascinating is people criticize us usually for one of two reasons. Either one is they genuinely do not want us to succeed, or number two, they feel they're trying to protect us by dissuading us from doing things. When we set a goal, especially if it's something that we've never done before, we will receive criticism. And that's usually the first test. And I always say this, in the face of challenge, you can either give up or you can get better. So what are you going to do to transcend that? Well, number one is you're going to have to be tougher than that criticism. Number two is you're going to have to keep your eye on the prize and remember why it is you're doing it. The next thing that's on my heart to really share about this is that every single time we set a goal and we give up, we're creating some form of collateral damage if other people are being affected. We might be teaching our kids that it's okay to set goals and give up. You know, Maybe you've decided, I, I worked in nutrition and health for years, maybe you've decided that you need to lose some weight to be a healthy weight. And if that's the case, God bless you and I'm praying for you, I want you to do that. But are your kids watching you start a diet and give up and start a diet and give up, start an exercise plan and give up. What are you teaching them that it's okay to do that? And I know this is a bit of a tough conversation, but there are people watching you and your family, the people in your house, you're either teaching them how to be or how not to be. But oftentimes the, that we're teaching our kids, our family, how to be, we're teaching them what's right. So if you keep doing this and sabotaging yourself, you're teaching them that that's okay. And it's not okay. It's not okay. The same thing comes true when we have business and maybe you have a business of some description. Maybe you have a network marketing business. Maybe you have another form of business. You're in real estate, something where you have to generate revenue through your efforts. And then you, you go to a conference or something, you set a goal and you tell everyone, it's like, oh my gosh, you know, mommy's going to be this, the daddy's going to be this or whatever. And you tell your partner, I'm going to do this. And then something happens and maybe a client is dissatisfied with your service or someone wants to return something or a deal doesn't go through. And then you go into apathy and now you're teaching them that that's okay. My friends, it is not okay. There are different types of goals, but the big meaningful goals I'm talking about, the ones that really will positively impact other people, you cannot quit. Because when you quit, you are making someone right. And maybe the person you're making right is someone who bullied you as a kid. I had, had one bully who used to call me Bubba Sue. And if you're watching, I cannot thank you enough. I won't say your name. Um, he used to call me a lot of things, but 
every time I thought I was very heavy as a child, when I was 10 years old, I was a women's size 14. Every time I thought about giving up on getting healthy, I'm not talking about being thin, but getting healthy, I kept thinking, I'm going to make him right. And that kept me going. There were other times in my life when I sat financial goals for myself. I had owned a health club and, you know, everyone said to me after I ended up losing that business, I'm very transparent about that. I, you know, really and truly looking back, I, I knew some things, but I didn't know everything. My gosh, that when I came out of that, everyone said, well, you shouldn't own a business anymore. You should just work for someone. But as my good friend, Jeffrey Combs says, you know, I was psychologically unemployable. So I lasted in corporate not that long before I had to start a business again. And I had so many critics who said, you are never going to succeed. And, and, you know, I'll be very candid and I teach this at my workshops and my trainings. One of my biggest critics was actually my husband, Chris, and he wasn't criticizing me because he, you know, wanted to me to stop. He was criticizing me because he wanted to protect me. And when I started that business, which was a network marketing business, he kept saying, you know, this is not going to work. This is not going to work. And every time I thought about quitting and believe me, I did. I kept thinking if I quit, I'm going to make him right. Now, you might have your childhood bully, or it might be your partner, and God bless them. Maybe they're just trying to protect you, or whoever it is, your best friend, or, or whoever, who's told you that something isn't going to work. If you quit, you are going to make them right. I know you have a bigger purpose in your life, and I actually want you to tap yourself on the chest right now and go, I have a bigger purpose in my life. And you do have a bigger purpose in your life, but you're never going to get there if you let the critics keep you from getting to your goals. So with that, I love you and I wish you every success. I would love to hear from you. My website is www.susansly.com. Come check it out. We have amazing blog articles on leadership, on work-life balance, on mindset, and also on Facebook at Susan Sly Live and then on Twitter at Susan underscore Sly. So with that, I would love to work with you at some point in the future. Check out my books on amazon.com and I will see you next time.